Hey guys, John here. Welcome to the brand new series, the Reactor Creator Spotlight. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Reactor, it's a very cool piece of software. You can design your own synthesizers, you can design your own audio effects, and make some really, really cool stuff. So, there's people out there who have spent a lot of time making different synthesizers, effects, you name it, and I would like to feature some of the cool stuff I find on this channel. So, the first person we're going to be talking about is Boso, Bosco Mac. I'm not really exactly sure how to pronounce it, but this guy's kind of a legend in the Reactor community, and he's made a lot of cool stuff. So, this guy has made instruments, this guy has made audio effects, and they're all available to download for free if you would like to check it out. I've included his link in the video description below, and he has a lot of stuff. So for this video, I've picked out my five favorite instruments he has made, and yeah, let's check them out. So the very first one here is called the Air Piano, and he does have a couple of different presets he includes within this instrument. There's the Air Clean, Air Spirit, Reverb, Detune, Delay, and Filter. My favorite has been Air Spirit, so take a listen to see how this sounds here. I dialed the delay and the reverb back just a little bit, as it's uh, it was a little much for me, but check this out. So that's just a quick demo of the air piano. And what's really cool about this guy's creations is his interfaces are basically the same size and there's a few different knobs. This one has more than usual, but they're very intuitive and very easy to use. And as you can see, if you hover your mouse over it, you can read some stuff that he's put in there so you can use the sounds or the instruments a little bit better. So this one is very cool. You can definitely go through the different presets or you can tune or change some of these knobs here and save your own for something that you like. So the next one up is going to be the Epinet. Now this one sounds very cool. So check this out. We have four knobs. We have a detune, we have a tone, we have a room, and then a level. So very basic, very easy to use, but it sounds fantastic. So check this one out. Let's bring this volume up just a little bit here. All right, here we go. change some of these detunes here. Maximize that room right there. Yeah, that one's really fun. That's one you can play around just for a long time because the sound sounds really, really cool. And especially the notes that you hear or the clicking sounds from the actual instrument. And this one does come with a few different presets. There's tone one, two, three, four, five. So this one's really cool. Like I said, it's very easy to use, but it sounds really fantastic. So next up, number three is going to be this Humanium or Humanium, however you really pronounce that. But I've used this one actually in a few of my tracks and it sounds really cool. So it's kind of like a voice, but it's also kind of an instrument at the same time. So let's take a listen to this one.
So looking at this interface here, we have this round 16. We have the blind, I think it says, it's kind of hard to read, number eight, nasal number, number yeah, eight as well, nasal number eight. I'm not even gonna pronounce that, four and then two. So here's just different kind of timbres here. So this is two. And you can see this little pop-up menu comes. So two is head, uh, four is sweet, eight is nasal, the other eight is full, and 16 is round. So here's the four. Next up we have the eight nasal. I think personally, this is my favorite one he's made. And then we have the round 16. So this reverb here is called the chapel. So for example, let's turn this one down. Now we just have the uh, no reverb here. So if we send this to some Valhalla reverb, let's take a listen and see how that sounds. Always use some more reverb, right? Get a little bit more of that right there. Yeah, so that one is just beautiful. It's insanely crazy how good this one actually sounds. So next up, number four is gonna be this Koto. So this one's interesting in its own right here. So for this one, let's go to the layout piano for our typing the keyboard. Now, this one, I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these words over here or the ones over here. So there's octaves, there's some reverb here, and uh, you can read the instrument or the pop-up right here. This is, there's seven different modes. Uh, where is it? The mode chromatic unwinds the Tessitura, tura, whatever that means, semitone by semitone. The modes, those words down here are basically, uh, where is it? Some have a minor tendency and the modes, the other modes has a major tendency. So check this out. So this first one is gonna be the chromatic. Go over to the next one here. Next one. Next one. Next one. I think that's my favorite one here. Next one. Okay, that one's pretty cool too. And the last one. And over here under the octave, we get kind of a different sound here. And then our reverb slider. So a very cool one too, and I really like the attention to detail for the interface. It just, it makes you feel like you're actually playing this instrument. He really does a good job of making the UI feel like it's actually part of the instrument. So very cool on that. And then our last but not least is going to be this box of music. So I think this one's kind of cool. This basically re resembles those music boxes where you kind of wind those things up and it just kind of goes. And this one's even easier than the other ones. We just have three, uh, three 
knobs here. The first one's sustain envelope. The next one is going to be the harmonica sound. And then the next one's the mechanical noise. So take a listen to this here. And I love how this little thing turns for every single note. Like that attention to detail is so cool. And you know how when you play those things, they slowly start to slow down once it's almost at the end. It's at the same tempo the whole time. And then just... And there's always that one last hanging note on those. So that's pretty cool as well. We can also send that to some reverb as well and see what that sounds like. You can really make some creepy sounds if you did like a harmonic minor scale, put some reverb on it, maybe do some interesting filtering, and it can be like a creepy music box. My brain always tends to go there, but more so here, we have the sustain envelope, so we can have this a little bit longer. And like the turning of this knob here, that sound here, like those little details are so cool. So yeah, those are my five favorites. This guy makes many more of these instruments here. There's quite a lot to go through. Another one of my favorites that we're kind of running out of time here for is the clapper. So if you want to have some interesting claps, you can really, there's a lot of controls there. We can simulate one clap, two claps, a lot of claps. It's, an, it's a very simple interface. So very cool work this guy has done. I don't know if he's still doing stuff. I don't believe so, but he's put all his work that he's done available on his website, which I have linked below. If you do have a reactor, highly recommend to check those out. The instruments are very cool and the effects are also very cool. And, he, and it's a lot of stuff to go through. So thank you so much for watching and thank you, Bose Comac. Hopefully I'm saying that right. If, if I'm not, please correct me because uh, I don't really know how to say your name. So with that being said, thank you so much for your work. And before we go, I do want to mention one last thing here. The attention to detail is what I was talking about. So let's take, uh, pick out the Epinet. So if we go over here to edit and we go to these different panels here. So here's the instrument going to our left and to our right. And then we go in here and we see all this fine work. Like look how neat he has thought out to place these nodes here. It's literally, it's, it's kind of beautiful really when you, when you look at this stuff here. So I thought I would kind of mention just how neat and nice this looks here. Cause you look under the hood and sometimes some instruments are, there's spaghetti everywhere there's noodles but i looked at this i'm like wow this is actually uh very nice we can also expand this window a little bit here and kind of just look at different things look at the velo over here and uh it's really re really nice looking so yeah i thought that was pretty cool to mention uh, i get kind of geeky out for uh the under the hood stuff but yeah that's basically the end of the video we'll look forward to the next reactor creator spotlight and thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one